We have already walked through the basics of using templates in Vue.js, where we saw how to use string interpolation to output data. I want to expand a bit on that and show you that you can also use simple JavaScript expressions within the string interpolation syntax. The reason I said simple JavaScript expressions is that you can only include a single expression. Therefore, you cannot use loops or any complex logic. This is okay anyways, as such logic would not belong in our template either way. It would be better off being placed within a method in our view instance, something that I will get back to in the next video. For now, let me just show you a simple example. Suppose I have an age property within my data object, which contains an arbitrary number. For whatever reason, I want to output this number multiplied by 2. I can do so by adding a simple JavaScript expression directly in my template within the string interpolation syntax. So I'll add an h1 element and I'll add the double curly bracket syntax as usual. And here I can write the name of my data property and multiply it by 2. Here I just multiplied the h property by 2 and if I run the code, we should see the expected number being output. Remember that I could access the h property directly within my template because Vue.js proxies the data property for me. So I did not have to access the property on the data object explicitly. In fact, if you try to do so, it wouldn't work. Let's take a look at how we can use Boolean logic within our template. Since you can only use a single expression, you cannot use normal if statements. However, what you can do is to use shorthand if statements. Suppose that I want to output whether a person is old or young. I could check if the age property is greater than a certain number and if so, output an arbitrary string. So let's remove what we already had and I'll say age is greater than 60. Then I'll write old and otherwise I'll write young. So this is normal JavaScript syntax, nothing special about that. In this case, I check if the age property contains a number that is greater than 60. In that case, I'll output old and otherwise young will be displayed. If I run the code, it luckily determines that I'm still young, which is pretty fortunate for me. If I change the age property to 60, it will output old instead. Let's see one more example of an expression. I will add my full name to a new property called name. Like so. The value includes both my first and last name but I only want to display my first name on the page. What I can do is to split the name by spaces. So if I remove the existing expression, I can write name.split, and this is just a split JavaScript function, nothing special about it in the context of Vue.js. And I'll just split by space here. So if I run this, an array of two elements will be output. To output my first name, I can output the element at index 0, like this. If I run the code now, you'll see my first name being output. This was just another example of an expression. You can do a lot of things with a single JavaScript expression, but just try to keep it simple. If you need more complex logic, then you should not try to force it into the template, such as nested shorthand if statements, for example. Also, if you need to use the same expression multiple times in your template, then it would probably be better to not embed it within the template itself, but within the view instance instead. This can be done with methods, which we'll take a look at now.